Hi, I'm Pakela Nare, also known as the Queen of Swagger, and you are watching High Fashion with Hollywood Lee. I am so excited today. I have a special guest who needs no introduction. She is so good at what she does that she has won multiple awards and she's a businesswoman, mother, shoe designer, and lately she's been running a campaign on HIV and AIDS testing for young ladies. Pokelo, welcome. Thank you for having me. Uh, so let's get right into it, okay? Tell us, how would you describe your style? I get this question a lot. Um, I think my style is definitely unconventional. Mm -hmm. uh, it's classic mm -hmm. and it's uh, trendy because I do keep up with the trends. It is trendy, but I always think that it's very unique because you put your pieces together so differently from other people. Yes, um, so I, I do dress very, very different from, from, from other people. Yeah. Um, not too much thought goes into my outfits, but um, <laughs> it's kind of like a spur of the moment impromptu thing. Mm -hmm. But I always make sure there's obviously the combos are communicating, yes. you know, there's a lot of coordination and um, I do love my nudes. Mm -hmm. I wear a lot of nudes, but I also love a lot of oranges and, and black. So my, I think my, my styles are a lot of color mm -hmm. and um, definitely vibrant. Yeah, I think I've heard you once say that your favorite color is orange. Yes. And you look absolutely amazing in orange and nudes. Yes. Okay, so this takes me to my next question. I saw on your birthday, okay, first of all, <laughs> your birthday celebrations were epic. You got so many gifts. Mm -hmm. When I grow up, I want to be Pokelo. Tell us, how many gifts did you get? My 34th birthday was definitely... Um, one of my favorite birthdays that I've had of all time. I don't know how many gifts I got. I did get a lot. Yeah, you did. Um, but everything I got was everything I needed, everything I had been wishing for. Wow. And I think that's what made the birthday so special because all the gifts were so well thought out and oh. people knew exactly what I needed. Wow. I need some friends like that. I mean, Pokelo has family and friends that know what they're doing in life. I beg. Anyway, <laughs> so um, I've been checking out your Instagram a lot, mm -hmm. and I know that you know you're very you're into fashion. I mean, that is obvious. Mm -hmm. But I've also noticed that you've uh, let us into your private life, and we've seen you vibing with your grandmother. Okay. First of all, my condolences. I'm so sorry for the loss of your grandmother. Thank you. But um, was she a fashion person? Was she into fashion too? No, my grandmother wasn't. Um a fashionista she wasn't into fashion she was a farmer so she was all about being in, in the fields the whole day very hard working she had 10 kids so wow. you know she she was from that era where they believe in being a mother and being a hard worker and mm. everything is about family mm. so um, she did instill a lot of family values into me and everybody sees I'm such a good mother I'm all about my kids and that definitely came from my, my grandmother and my mother. And I used to spend a lot of time with my grandmother, especially this year that she was very ill and just before she died. And I think um, spending so much time with her made me discover things about myself wow. that I could see in her. I could see certain things about her that, oh, so this is how I'm going to age, mm. you know? She has certain malls and, and places that I have malls and I just saw so much of myself in, in her. her. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, you know, I really enjoyed watching that because I saw another side of you yeah. that warmed my heart. Um, okay, so now I want to find out about your shoe line. Okay. What can we look forward to? Um, I know it's, you know, summer is here mm -hmm. and I want to know, you know, what, what can we look forward to? So I definitely have two new designs dropping on the 1st of December. Yeah. And my designs are not really for summer, it's more festive season. Right. So I've brought out a line that's good to wear at night times because it's festive season. There are going to be a lot of cocktail parties, a lot of Christmas parties, a lot of New Year's parties. Mm -hmm. And then I've 
recreated my famous housemate collection, which is what Miss Hollywood Lee has on the, today. <laughs> so I've recreated it. Um, I've added a little, uh, a, a few specs to it, and I think a lot of women are going to love it. Wow, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, in Zimbabwe, we don't have a lot of shoe designers. Yes. And I only know you as uh, doing high heels. Mm -hmm. I, I know of men that sell shoes on the streets, mm -hmm. leather shoes for men, but mm -hmm. I've never really seen a woman who's taken time to design something yeah. that is as awesome as pink bottles. Oh, thank so you. So well done. <laughs> and uh, let's go on to your nail polish line. Mm -hmm. What drives you to start a nail polish line? Um, you know, I've always been one of those girls when I go into the nail bar and I always have a particular color in mind. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, they never have that color in the nail bar. Words. I said to myself, you know what, I just, I'm just going to come up with a nail polish line that has all the, the colors, colors that I could ever want. Mm -hmm. So I created a line and it has 180 colors. Wow. So basically you have maybe 20 shades of pink, 20 shades of red, 20 shades of nude. Do, do you guys hear that? And you can literally open our color palette and there's no color that you won't find. Wow. And that was what was, that was the vision behind um, Pukilo Neo Leco. I like that. She found a solution to her problem. Yes. Which is what we should do as women. <laughs> okay, now we're getting to my most favorite part of the show. This is the time I get to, we get to play a little game and I ask you a few questions. Okay. So you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> First up, tell us your top three best stylish men in Zimbabwe. Stylish men in Zimbabwe? Yes. Woo, that's a hard one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to go with Rick Chases mm. um, because he's a designer and He's breaking barriers, so his style is also very unconventional, very mm -hmm. trendy, mm. Um, a lot of denim, so yeah. Rick Chase is number one. Mm -hmm. um, gosh, I can't even, you need to help me. <laughs> no girl, this is all you. <laughs> Maybe, okay, I'm going to say Chamu Chuanza, mm. because um, he's a clean guy and he always likes to look good, always, mm -hmm. you know, so his pants are always well tailored mm. and nice clean white shirt, mm -hmm. so I'll put him on number two. Mm -hmm. Number three. Mm -hmm. Wow. Why is this so hard? Is it because I don't look at Zimbabwean men <laughs> or what? <laughs> I don't know. Um, come on, you need to help me with maybe the third one. Maybe one person online who you've seen, you know, consistently looking good, maybe? Okay, I'll have to say Tino Chinyani, even though he's South African based. I'll, I think mm -hmm. uh, in terms of Zimbabwean men who are out there and who look good and yeah. who, who make an effort to put their clothes together while well, he's definitely there. Pokelo is really big on bathing guys. Yes, like, I am addicted. It's a big deal. I, think I, I think I have OCD. I'm <laughs> addicted to everybody. Everybody around me needs to be clean. And it's, it's, it's so much pressure on people who work with me, work mm -hmm. for me, my sisters. Everybody just feels so pressured by me all the time. So you see, uh, to look this good, you need to bath. Yeah. <laughs> 40 minutes. My next, <laughs> yes, 40 minutes. My next question is, who are your top three best African designers? Number one, I would say Pistis GH. Mm. They are a bridal and evening wear. Based in Ghana. B based in Ghana. And they do the most unbelievable designs. Uh, I always say if I'm going to walk down the aisle, mm -hmm. I'm going to walk down the aisle in a Pistis dress. Mm. Definitely. I like that. Um, number two, I'll go with uh, Style Temple. Uh, she's a Nigerian designer and she is absolutely amazing. Yes, I agree. And then um, last one, I'll go with um, South African designer Nkosi Nkosi. Oh, yes. I think um, she's, um, for the, it's, it's, it's everyday where it's comfortable mm -hmm. and yes. she caters for all sizes. Yes, yeah. I totally agree. And uh, the third question is, who would you say is your best stylish Zimbabwean music female artist? Stylish, I'll have to go with Tammy Moyo. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. I think Tammy is she's 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 trendy, but she's she's very different. Mm. Her style is very eclectic, and uh, that's yeah. what I love about it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think also because um, the people that style her, I'm forgetting. They, I think it's black consultants. Mm -hmm. They're very good. They're yes. very creative, and they have a very unique sense of fashion. So I'll definitely go with Tammy Moyo. And now. Um, who would you say is the most stylish radio presenter? We'll take one. 
I will definitely go with, um, I think she's on ZFM, uh, Miss Becky. Mm, yeah, I, um, I love her body. First and foremost, she has the most stunning body, stunning legs. And I, I think I love how she, she dresses. And um, now for the roundup, we would like to know what you would recommend this summer. This summer is very hot, like the heat wave is killing everybody. But for me, summer is not summer without a pair of shorts. Mm. So the legs need to come out. <laughs> so definitely a nice pair of shorts mm -hmm. and then a very nice maxi dress because it is hot, but you want to be comfortable, but you yes. want to be and then you want to be flirty at the same time. Yeah. And then the third piece, I would go with a nice um, I think hats are trending definitely, right yes. now. Um, the cream hats um, are on trend, so definitely a hat. Mm, okay, and uh, moving on to what you would recommend. Did you bring us anything we can have a look at, you know, and just... Uh... So it is summer and mm -hmm. I'm all about color. Yes. I did bring you my favorite dress mm. from Brands for Less Zimbabwe. Wait. So this is my favorite dress. Mm. It's... Um, green and green is definitely one of my favorite colors as well mm -hmm. and i just love this whole lace detailing yes. it just gives you such an elegant sophisticated look yes and then it's 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 the fit is amazing mm -hmm. if you have curves if you have a hip the fit this of this dress is absolutely amazing <laughs> so i definitely love this brands for less piece and it's a definite favorite in my closet i think it's gorgeous i think it's for all body types as well yeah, except I mean, if you have a little bit of tummy, then I wouldn't recommend this kind of fit. Your undergarments have to come correct too. Yeah, because yeah. it's um, it kind of maps all the details, so uh -huh. you, your tummy really needs to be on flat, flat. Mm, awesome. Green. And our very last question. This is my own personal question. It has mm -hmm. nothing to do with my viewers. I want to know, Pokello. I've seen tattoos everywhere. I've seen women, you know, getting tattoos done and getting so many piercings. But I've noticed on Pokello. Do you have tattoos? No. Wow. Not I'm a single one. <laughs> Why? Um, I just feel like you don't put a sticker on a Bentley. Ooh, there you have it, ladies. There you have it. <laughs>